Well, good morning from North Carolina. I figured I'd show you my little bit, a little bit of my so, uh, soda activation setup. I've got the SW3B CWQRP rig. It's five watts. Got the 20, 30, and 40 band selector here. AF gain, the RF gain. Then here's your tuning knob. It's got memories. Got CQ memory. Then you got RIT, all that good stuff. Power cord came with it. I just put some power poles on it. On the end of it, it's similar to the same plug as most QRP rigs. I usually pair it with the BioNO 3 amp hour battery. Uh, I've been out activating five times and I've not charged the battery yet, still got good battery. I use a little cheap set of earbuds because this does not have a speaker, so you have to have an external speaker or something. I got a cheap set of earbuds I put in. And then this is my CW Morse paddle that I got, a portable paddle. Uh, just uses an auto cable plug in the back and then it plugs into the side of the rig. A little cheap, lightweight battery pack. But that's the rig setup. Uh, but that's what I use when I, I'm out on soda. I have took it out to parts and done a few parts on there. I've used it with uh, a few different antennas. As y'all know, I have the Wolf River Coil uh, Platinum 1000 Platinum Mega, and I used to run it on a mag mount. Hopefully do a video of it soon, how I've got it set up. I've used it on that, but I've also used it on a soda beam link dipole. I had a uh, Band Hopper 3 that has been converted to 17 through 40. Uh, I used a lot when I first started parts on the air. I still have it, so I take it a lot, and then I have a uh, the power ends. Let me see if I can reach right here, and I'll get it out, and we'll go over it. This is my new little antenna that I have been playing with. A little long, but it's it, it's fine. Uh, the power ends fed EFT MTR 4030 20 in fed. It's like 66 feet long. I got about a I don't think it's 20 foot worth of coax or uh, like the RG7174 coax BNC connectors on it. But that's the antenna I've been using here lately, been playing with. And I usually, uh, if I don't use a tree to string it up, I have a, uh, a 20 foot crappy rod. It's a Shakespeare TSP20 collapsible that I, I'll uh, put up in the air, usually either on the back of the truck or something. Uh, I do have a couple things I'll show you in another video when I get out to be able to put antennas up. How I support up my uh, fishing rod a lot of times and how I support the ends up off the ground for my link dipole and my end fit here. But that's pretty much the solar setup that I carry. I mean, yeah, I carry a few snacks in the bag and I got a little small mini notebook that I carry to log with. Um... I carry two antennas. I carry the M fed. Then I carry the uh, the soda beam link dipole just in case. You never know when you might have an antenna issue. But I do. I got a small, little small notebook. That's the logging book. I always log on paper, pen, pen and paper and come home and put it in on the computer. And I might try to do a video on that one day. Um, how, to, how to do that. I do carry a little Bofang handheld with me, usually two. And I have an arrow, two meter 440 beam, handheld beam that I can carry with me for a VHL. But that's pretty much the setup for the soda. Uh, what I take out and, and use for soda. Uh, I would power this little rig up, but I don't have no way to hook the antenna up to it and stuff and let y'all see a little bit. And I do not have, unfortunately, I do not have an external speaker that works very well with this little rig. So, but that that is the uh, SW3B CW QRP rig that I use out on my soda activations. And like I say, the the par par the, the par ends in fed. It's the EFT dash MTR. It's 40, 30, and 20 um, resonant dipole. That right there, if you take that cap off. Uh, you get the uh, 30 meters. If you leave that little gold cap on, it's 20 and 40 meters. So that's pretty much how it's tuned. I've had SWR from 1.5 up to 
uh, down to about 1.2, 1.3 on on all bands. So it works very well for what I've, I've been working. I've had it out, set it up, and used it. But that's about it for this morning. I just figured I'd do another short, quick video of my solar setup. Plan on doing one for my parts on the air setup one day. Hopefully, I'll get out and be able to do a couple of how I set some antennas up and, and play. But I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And go chase them summits and them parks on the air. 73s from W4JL.